It says I believe about, in Satan, by the way. You believe in Satan? Yeah. Proudly. Oh, no. Proudly, okay. <laughs> so I believe that the only one who can truly protect you yeah. is, is Jesus himself. That What's your name? Hey, I don't care to talk to you guys. Okay. All right, well, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to them. Hi, how are you? No, no, no. no How's it going? How's it going? No, Hi, how are you? How's it going? How's it going, sir? Because you love them so much that you wanted them to be reminded that not only are you real God, but that you love them. That they would know that this stuff is, is not going to do anything for them. How's it going, sir? My name's April. What's your name, sir? Well, Man, it feels like this is just a repeat of last year. Can explain that you guys were funded to serve us. That's it. Do you think you are, then? I'm sorry? Do you think you are? Awesome, You're gonna awesome. give us a speech. You can keep. Oh, I'm not gonna give you a speech. I'm gonna give you a gospel track. No thanks. You don't want it? No, you can keep. God loves you, man. He loves you so much that he would come in the form of Jesus to die on the cross for your sins, and uh, and and for all sins. There are literally dozens, dozens of contradictions between the Old and the New Testament. Really, which ones? For example, we talk about not having sex with uh, people outside of marriage, but. There's an Old Testament story about a man being seduced by his daughters mm -hmm. to have sex with them. Yeah, his name's Lot. Yes. What was that about? Yeah, so that was wrong. God didn't approve of that. But it was part of the Old Testament. He's giving you that free will, you know, you know Stephen. He's giving you that free will, and you chose not to believe in him and follow him. And unfortunately, God is not going to force himself upon you. He, he has sent somebody like me to remind you of this message. So just the way you, you don't want anything to do with him in this life, the day that you die, he is not going to force you to, to spend eternity with him. And you have the right and the free will to do that. I want to remind you, man, that, that God loves you. Thank you. Okay, that, that he will orchestrate this moment. That's right. You coming all the way from McAllen, man. Mm -hmm. right. And you bump into us here. Yeah. All right. So God loves you, man. I pray for Stephen, God. I thank you, Father, because he was bold enough to come and have a conversation with me. Uh, grace and mercy, right? And, and, that, and that's what Jesus offers. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's what we're here to do, just talk to people about that. Father, come before you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Father, for this moment. I thank you, Father, for Jesus and Jasmine, Lord, for such a beautiful couple, God. Father God, I come before you in the mighty name of Jesus, God. I thank you for this moment, God. I know